What's up nerds, welcome back to the channel. Today we are testing out some uh, ridiculous baits you saw us pick up on Timu, right? So basically a discount website, if you're familiar with like wish.com or super clearance off-brand uh, knockoff stuff from Amazon, it's essentially that. We were not impressed at all with the first look at these baits. So now we gotta put them to the test on the water. Can they hold up? Can they actually catch fish? Will they break instantaneously? Will they sink? Will they float? We don't know. These are all questions to be answered on today's episode. So I am giving myself one hour on my home lake to fish all of the baits that we picked up. I'm gonna rig them a couple different ways. Most of them are body baits, a couple were plastic. So I might wacky rig that pink plastic and I might Texas rig it. For example, I can Texas rig the uh, fake G-Crack Bellows gill. Uh, I've got it rigged with a flashy swimmer right now. I think it's the best way to do it at the moment. So let's put them to the test. Let's see what happens. And if you guys like what you see, be sure to subscribe. Hang out with us more. All right, let's get to it. One hour starts now. It is 10.14. I have currently the flashy swimmer, Bellows Gill, fellow, Fellows Gill, fake Bellows Gill, whatever you want to call it. We got the duck, the mallard, and then we've got this topwater thing, which is actually the first thing I'm going to throw right now. So we're going to get this out here and uh, see what we can do. And then the only thing I got to rig up after these two is the crazy pinwheel dude uh paddle wheel whatever you want to call it and the pink plastic so no idea how these are going to go currently though this one does float it is on top so it's doing what it's supposed to be doing let's see how it looks so you can see it's floating just sitting there floating that's good the little flasher swinging off the back Again, we don't know if that's doing anything for us at all. I'm just gonna be burning it over these weed piles here. And uh, top water should work right now. You can get it to spit kind of like a plopper actually. So it can do the thing. My question is more so like, why all the extra stuff? Because this is the bait that has that flashy tail. I don't know if that's doing anything for us. It doesn't give you the same action as a plopper at all. The plopper obviously has that single fin. When you add the double fin, it's more of a turbine. Uh, it's not as loud. It's not as good of an action in my opinion. I think there's better options out there for sure. Um, it's okay though. How am I supposed to test this thing if no fish will bite it? So, I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. Is it impressive? No. Did I expect it to be? No, not really. <laughs> so. I'm gonna bench that. We're gonna keep cycling through all these baits. I wanna make sure I try to give everything a little bit of time before giving up on it, you know? So next up we got Ye old Mallard. The most expensive part of the order, actually. And this is a, whoop, subsurface? Bro, it doesn't even float. Hang on, let's see what this thing's doing. Okay, so this is a subsurface duck. Why? I thought it would wake. Like it doesn't even float upright. It's like sideways. And let me put it in perspective here. See that? See that lean? So it, it can't even be bothered to sit straight. That's cool. And then it's definitely subsurface. It ain't no wake bait. So it's kind of like a one foot dive. Like a man's one minus. Except I would much rather have a man's one minus i'm so glad i'm only giving myself one hour on this though oh bluegill just smoked it <laughs> finally had a legit hit i saw that saw that happen oh got him got him on the duck on the duck on the duck and it's a bass <laughs> come here come here quick 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 count it count it it can be done. It can be done. Look at, look at me. Look at me. Let's get you out of here. There we go. Bam, I'm gonna toss him back. All right. Ducky, ducky, ducky. Messing around with the duck anymore. Duck's done. Duck got done. Love it. Caught a bass on it, that's a win. I did not expect to catch a bass. 
was thinking maybe a bluegill might be more interested in that. So next up that hasn't been fished yet is Fellow's Gill, the fake bellower from the deep. Got a rigged on an owner flashy swimmer right now. It's not as sunny as I was hoping. Sun is out though. Let's just see action wise, it's doing absolutely nothing actually, huh? It's pretty soft. Oh, the tail's moving a bit. Tail is moving a bit. And then obviously we got the underspin there. So I'm just gonna be giving this a throw. It's a pretty floaty version of the bellows. I always thought the bellows sank pretty well. This one floats a lot, even with the weight of that owner on there. It's staying up pretty good. So I guess if you wanted a floatier version of the bellows, there you go. Oh, got a fish. Got him. Got him. <laughs> oh no. I'm going to have to eat all my words. Look at that. The fake bellows in the mouth. Gosh dang it. I hate eating my words. They're not that tasty. All right. There you go. Nice little fish. I'm not doing any tournament posts right now today, so I don't care. All right. Can confirm it is a bellows gill. It's literally the same. So then next up, we got to get this top water knocked out and then we're going to go to that little pink doodad. All right, quick time check. We are 1040, started at 1015. So we still got time. All right, let's rig up the pink Texas on this spot real quick. I'm going to come back to this guy. We also have the pinwheel, I know. I'm going to get that on here too. Let's go ahead and put our Texas rig together first. Now I kind of figure for this bait in particular, a Texas or a Wacky would be good. We go Texas first, give it a little more presence. Uh, and then we get this pinwheel out too. Gotta make sure we save time for this guy. Gosh, okay, this might not be possible. I'll do the best I can. There you go. Micro Texas rig. Let's see. It's very floaty. I got a 116 ounce, I think, on here. Is this 116 or 132? Pretty sure it's 116. Dude, it's so floaty. <laughs> it's got an insane fall rate. Just got bit. Come on, might be stuck with the top. Oh, no way. Yo, ripped in half? Come on, shoot. This is gonna be a problem. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna rig the lower half here and I'm just gonna try this for a minute. You tell me you see this delicious looking little pink blob and you're, you're out, you're like, that's it, I'm not doing that. All right, fine. Have not caught a fish on this BFS setup yet. Wouldn't it be funny if the first catch is on this stupid pink lure? Be kind of great, actually. That's fish. Got him. There it is. First fish on the BFS. Woo! And it's a bass. Got a bass on every single one of these setups. That's sweet. All right, come on, buddy. Put it on a show right here on that BFS. White pound test. Oh, this is the biggest fish of the day, dude. <laughs> a little stupid pink Texas. Gosh dang. We did it. Only got the top water left. Skin hooked his top lip. That's insane. That's how sharp those hooks are. That's what you need. All right. We are gonna do one tourney measure here, just because. Well, 13er, pretty par for the course on this lake. This is one of those baits that you're gonna catch a monster on this. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. Dude, for real? <laughs> Side hook them? Come on, how did you do that? Oh my gosh, freaking, oh dude, fat, fat fish. 
Look at that belly. All right, we got to get her back then. Oh my goodness. That's what we're talking about. Look how, how short, but how fat this fish is. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going right back, buddy. There you go. There you go. Bye. Oh man. The only value bait that we got from our team order. The only one for sure. Oh, yep. Yep, yep. Dude, the fellow's gill. Phony bellow. Old phony bellow catching all the fatties over here. Well, good to know where the fatties are if I had a weight tournament going on. Gosh dang. Homies are eating. Eating good. Mm-hmm. Stuck them. Oh, man. Pretty, pretty high gauge hook on this thing, unfortunately. There we go. Got him. I want to say this is probably a four or five out. So we are getting that hook set in, baby, on the old psycho stick. All right, so we are on top water. This can run a top water pretty well, too. So I'm going to go ahead and swap this baby out real quick. So far, top water, not been good. Let's see if. The old cicada pinwheel changes everything, huh? I mean, it's bright, so that gives us something at least. The, the, what? No, no. The one pinwheel's not, this one's not moving. This one's moving. God dang it. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. This is the expectation that I had. <sighs> Dude, look at it just limping along. Okay, so on the retrieve, we got one wheel spinning and one wheel, nope. Yeah, barely, one barely moves. The other one does not move at all. Maybe you gotta just freaking cruise missile this thing. Look at that. I just need something so agitated to attack this. If it catches before the prop fish, I will be baffled. On account of it's not even doing what it's supposed to be doing. Come on, fish. Don't you want to eat this piece of trash? Oh, wow. Did that go according to plan? Sort of. Actually, we caught fish. So I, I will say I was uh, surprised to catch on like the duck lure, for example. Um, the pink tentacle monster, if you really think about it, should catch fish. Like it's got that action. And especially once it got bit off, so it lost its profile and it was just that small little piece. It's kind of perfect. Uh, it's got that slow rate of fall because I was throwing it on 1 16th ounce uh, worm weight. So this unpegged Texas rig on a BFS setup. Kind of the perfect setup for a bait like that. The top waters definitely, you know, first of all, we weren't impressed first looks. Second of all, we weren't impressed on the water. The, the little paddle wheels on that cicada, they don't even spin. Like one of them spins and the other one just putters around. So this was the worst purchase if you see this do not buy this bait <laughs> absolutely not the second top water i would also not recommend do not buy this bait uh it looks like it should catch fish and i'm sure that it can in scenarios we're looking at you know 55 degree water temps should i be catching on top water not necessarily but fishing it shallow got hits got looked at got followed no takes this is just not great it's just not great there's just so many other better top waters out there so i get that it's cheap it's just it's not it it's not it uh the problem with the ducks that i had these ducks do not float upright so they're not centered at all um it's also not a wake bait so don't get fooled by that it's a shallow diver so it gets down about i don't know one to two feet pretty much and then its action is it kind of like lays on its side and then just does this it's not great. It's not a very good action. Um, it caught a fish, which was cool. I mean, we caught fish on all but two of these baits. And then probably the best purchase from the bunch would be the fake bellows gill. And that thing, it behaves like a bellows gill. It doesn't have the same like oil and scent. It's as close as I believe they tried to mimic because they're just copying that bait. 
Uh, so it kind of pulls it off. The action's okay. You're gonna do your best with that on a Texas rig or a Carolina rig. It crushes just like the bellows does. I had it on the flashy swimmer, but I caught off the bottom just letting it sit. So all in all, fished all the baits, wasn't impressed with any of them particularly well. Closest to being good was the fake bellows gill. And uh, what would I recommend? I honestly wouldn't recommend buying these baits. Like just, just get the real stuff. Um, I understand that you're, you have a chance to save some money. You're also taking a bit of a risk. I've heard stories about this site. Nothing happened to me, luckily, so I can't corroborate those stories. I can't tell you that it's legit true, but just the fact that they're out there is a little concerning. Uh, there are other sites that I trust a lot more to shop from, and you're getting higher quality. So you gotta keep that in mind as you go to you know try and save a buck. You get something cheap, you get something cheap. Like that is what you can expect. It's either gonna perform or not. It's gonna catch fish or not. You got a maybe 33.3 to a 66.7 repeating chance of potentially catching something on these. Uh, swinging not in your favor, by the way. So just keep that in mind. Kind of my thoughts, just my opinion. You guys let me know your opinion. Maybe you've had great success with your Timu orders. Awesome, glad to hear it. I'm not, you know, here to, to knock it if it's worked for you. I will say that just because it worked for you doesn't mean it'll work for everybody and I'm still not impressed, right? And that's, that's just where my opinion lands, right? Hopefully this video is helpful for you. And if you're looking at Timu, maybe I gave you a, a, a nudge in the a different direction, right? You know, and that's what I'm here for. So just keep that in mind. When you shop on sites like this, it's kind of what you can expect. At any rate, thanks for watching you guys and we'll catch you on the next video.